Welcome to Insider Report Channel. Tensions in Ukraine flared up again after the ceasefire last date and the meeting of the two foreign ministers meeting in Turkey right after. Russia launched a major ground operation against the city centers in the south and north. At the same time, the bombardment continues. Russian troops coming from the west of Kiev are also supporting the Russian army, which is besieging Kiev from the east, especially from the Chernihiv and Suma regions in the north, through Belarus. The aim of the Russian army is to completely blockade the capital, and for this reason, they are trying to seize the big cities in the south by blockade. The Ukrainian armed forces, on the other hand, has been fending off the attacks of the Russian army, just like for 16 days. The Ukrainian armed forces, which showed a serious resistance against the convoy coming from the north, has been preventing the fall of Kiev for a long time. It also openly challenges Russia, especially with its support for Ukraine in the US and UK. The United States announced its support to Ukraine with a large arms shipment. He explained that convoys that will make shipments in Russia will be Russian targets. The presence of British volunteer soldiers in Ukraine made a great impression. A group of six British soldiers who voluntarily left Britain and Ukraine described their reason for joining the war as to stand in the right direction of history. Hamid Reza Zarafinia joined the volunteer group and crossed the Polish border into Ukraine on an eye-opening journey. Witnessing the tragic scenes Seeing firsthand the tens of thousands of Ukrainians fleeing for their lives and the damage caused by the Russian attacks, Mr. Zarafinia described the experience as disastrous, 